Hello everyone, welcome back to Edubay Global Solution. Today we'll be looking at market failure. Now what do we mean by market failure? Market failure occurs when market forces, that is the demand and the supply, fail to produce the product that consumers demand in the right quantity and at the lowest possible cost. As you can see, the supply is limited to the demands in the market. Moving to the next slide where we have an activities relating to what we just said now. Now, what is the definition of market failure? According to our definitions here, which says it occurs when market forces face to produce the products that consumers demand in the right quantity. Now, let us check the options here. We have public goods are only provided by a government. Is that so? No, that's not supposed to be the answer. Private benefit of consumption are greater than external benefits. No, not all consumers can afford to buy the goods they would like. Is that so? No. Market forces of demand and supply do not allocate resources efficiently. That should be our correct answer. Good. Moving to the next activities here, which is also your past question. In a private market system, certain goods and services would not be available unless the government intervened. What does this identify in a private market? Now let us check the options. We have market failure, market distribution, market equilibrium, market structure. What's supposed to be the answer? Of course, it is market failure. Now let us move to the next slide where we have the public merit and the merit goods now what is what do we mean by public goods public goods are, co are commodities or service that benefit all members of the of the society and which are provided for free through public taxation public goods mo must be non vicarious and non excludable what do we mean by non vicarious goods and non excludable Excludable goods. No reverse goods are public school goods consumed by people, but whose supply is not affected by people's consumption. Why non excludable public goods are the goods that cannot exclude a certain person or group of persons from using such goods? Now we move to demerit goods. Demerit goods is a good or service whose consumption is considered unhealthy due to the negative effect on the consumers themselves. E.g., we have cigarettes. Of course, it's an LD to consumers. Now we have merit goods. Merit goods are, are opposite of the merit goods. They are the goods which are deemed socially desirable. Of course, we have a lot. We have health care and... Moving to the next slide, where we have an activity here also. Which combination of characteristics describe a public good? Of course, we just said it now, not too long. Now, we have excludable and non rifle in consumption. Excludable and rifle in consumption, non excludable and non rifle in consumption, and non excludable and rifle in consumption. What is the answer? Of course, it's non excludable and non rifle in consumption. Now, Moving to the next slide, before we move to the next slide, we also have one past question again. What is an example of a public good? Of course, I've said it earlier. Now we have healthcare, street lights, unemployment, bare benefits, fascination. What should be our public good? Should be street light, which imposed, which the government imposed taxation on. Now, moving to the next slide, where we have causes of market failure. What can cause market failure? We have points number one, we have lack of information. Of course, there will be lack of information if this supply is limited to demand. And we have market control or power. The third one says we have the distribution of public goods. If there is overuse in the distribution of public goods, there will be market failure. Now we have externalities. Externalities occur when cost or, be or benefit of a transaction fall 
on someone other than the producer or the consumer. We have two externalities. We have negative and positive externalities. Of course, our, ne our negative externalities means when cost spill over. Why positive externalities occur? Why the benefit spills over? Of course, when there is a lot of competition also, it can also lead to market failure. Moving to the next slide, where we also have first question. Which characteristics of a product will cause market failure? We have discussed this. Let us check the options. The product is non viable and non-excludable. Is that so? Let us move on. The consumption of the product has no external benefits. Now, the production of the product has no external cost. Is that so? Information about the product is known equally by consumer and producer. Of course, that information is not known. If there is market failure, of course, the product is because I have a product is the public good, which is non rifle and non excludable. Moving to the next slide, where we also have one true or false question here. The assistance of external benefit is among the causes of market failure. Now, let us look at it. The assistance of external benefit is it part of causes of market failure? This travels, of course, it is true. External benefit can also lead to market failure. Let us check. Of course, we are good to go. Now, moving to the next slide where we have the consequences of market failure. The consequences of market failure. The consequences of market failure. Point number one says it leads to a loss of economic efficiency. Two. It also leads to negative externalities. Of course, we have said that negative externalities means when costs spill over, which cause the social cost of production to exceed price. Our social cost is the cost is the cause of an economic activities to a social entity. While our private cost is the cost borne by those directly consumed by those directly consuming or producing a product. It can also lead to positive externalities, which also cause the social benefit of consumption to exceed private benefit. Where our social benefit is the benefit to a society of an economic activities. And our private benefit is there is also the benefit received by those directly consuming or producing a product. It can also lead to rise in the level of poverty and also decline in the provision for social welfare. Moving to the next slide. Moving to the next slide where we also have past question. Why might the market economic fail to achieve the best use of scarce resources? Now let us check the options. Most resources are owned by government. Is that so? The merit goods are under consumed. Mm -hmm. Let us continue. Consumers may lack information about which goods to buy. This sounds as the answer, but let's check the last option. Public goods are over-consumed. Of course, why might the market economic fail? What can cause economic failure is among the lack of information. Moving to the next slide, here we also have a past question. What suggests that there is a market failure? Now, what's do you think we cause market failure here among these options? We have high retail prices, low levels of investment, lack of competition, high products, high producer, high producer purpose. Of course, it should be lack of competition is among our causes of market failure. This should be the end of our class. Stay tuned to our website, www.edubay.com.